sorry I'm late. No problem. The interview isn't over yet. Hazel, you were saying? Well, we're a school sanctions club. So now it's just a question of getting enough people to sign up. But they will, of course. OK, what would you say to a student who thinks cheerleading is sexist? I'd say, get over it. Welcome to the new millennium. Totally. I mean, cheerleading is such a positive thing. It's great exercise. It builds leadership skills. It's better than watching TV. And it boosts school spirit. I mean, what's bad about that? Thank you, and good luck. Can I help you? I'm Manny. I'd like to try out. OK, what can you do? Nanny, sweetie, sign right here. Traveling back in time, cheerleading is so over. What? Cheerleading is huge, more popular than ever. So are a lot of things that are just sexist and wrong. How can it be sexist if there are guys? I bet the guys will be wearing tight sweaters and mini skirts. I hope not. Anyway, I was just thinking cheerleading might be fun. Fun? Manny, you're not thinking of. You really want to become some pom pom pumping robot? I'm surprised. Um, to tell you the truth, I don't think Degrassi should have a squad, period. OK, forget it. You're right. Can we talk about something else? I can't taste them anymore. I can't taste anything anymore. That's just a sodium. Keep going. Faster. What exactly are you two doing? Nothing. Why don't you trust me? I don't not trust you. I just want to make sure you didn't overlook the ace of clubs. As if I'd overlook that. You're right. You didn't. No luck. By 12 o'clock, Liberty Van Zandt with a chicken. What? What? Well, yeah. Can I come over to say hi? <laughs> OK, we want your chip can. Shut up. Guys, what's going on? It's a contest. Get one can with the ace of spades and one with the ace of clubs. You win a million bucks. We already have the Ace of Spades. It is in a top secret hiding place. Yes, yes, very top secret. But we still need the other half, and the deadline's in three days. You've been doing this how long? Two months. <laughs> Some advice. Find a dictionary and look up pathetic. Can we just have your can? Sorry. Try again. <laughs> like the rest of them. <laughs> Try again? Wait, Liberty, let's make a deal. So you're still coming over tonight to study, right? Manny, there you are. Let's see that awesome cartwheel again. <laughs> Come on, Manny. If you want to be on the spirit squad, you can't be shy. <sighs> still wow. amazing. Yeah, but her landing could have been smoother, if you ask me. <laughs> Better watch out, Manny. You're making Hazel jealous. <laughs> 
Please, Paige, Hazel, are you gonna like do like your colors like together like? Come on, Emma, they're the coolest kids in school. Mm -hmm. And they like me, a grade seven. That's a pretty big deal, you know. The big deal is that no one in the school except me is pointing at the bad side of cheerleading. Maybe, because no one else feels the same way you do. Most people realize that it's just good fun. Well, maybe if my views are brought to the school's attention. What? Are you saying you're gonna write another article for the grapevine? No, it's not that big a deal. Great, can we just talk about something else for a while, please? You'd have nothing without me. And you'd have nothing without us. 50-50, that's our final offer. Make that 45-45. That only makes 90%. That's right, Einstein. Plus 10% from me. What for? For protection. Protection? From who? The only people who know about this are me, JT, Liberty, and you. Okay, JT will bring the Ace of Spades tomorrow. I'll hold on to the Ace of Clubs in the meantime, for protection. Then we go cash in. One million smacks. Hey, girl. Something wrong? It's Emma. She's taking this whole cheerleading and sexism thing too far. Really? How far? She did say she might write something for the grapevine. <laughs> you know what Manny needs, Hazel? Some time with the girls. Want to hang out? Wow, that would be amazing. My house is like two minutes from here. I'd say an eight. Hello, we're talking about Joseph here. Try nine. <laughs> Try four. He doesn't wear deodorant. Major pointage loss on the sign factor. <laughs> but I guess we shouldn't be rating boys. Perfect little Emma would say it's sexist. Just like cheerleading. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's her. Make sure she's not writing the article, Manny. Hello? Manny, where are you? Oh, I thought you were coming over tonight to study. I was, but... <clears throat> I'm not feeling too well. Must be a 24-hour flu. Oh, well, I hope you feel better. Thanks, but, uh, and I was just wondering, just to make sure you're not really going to write that article for the grapevine. I told you I wasn't. Why? I mean, trying to protect the world from cheerleading? As if. Did I hear Paige? She'll be leaving soon and then I'll come by. Don't bother. Guys, she heard you. the toe touch. I'll show you. Okay? Uh, not bad, but let's not get crazy here. Besides, I'm sure Manny could do it better. I don't know about that, girl. Try. <laughs> Manny, sweetie. You are so gonna be the star of the show. After me, of course.
Emma, can I help you? I know this is totally last minute, but I have an article here for the grapevine. Emma, I'm just about to publish. I... Please, just read it before you say no. How can we advance as women if some of us insist on wearing short skirts and dancing like bimbos? Wow, that's harsh. Really? I didn't think it was strong enough. I could make it harsher. No, no, this is good. You do know that Manny signed up for the spirit squad. Isn't it weird that you're attacking it? No. What's weird is Manny. She's totally becoming this phony person. Um, what are those? Aren't they the most beautiful boots you've ever seen? They are, they're something. Manny, that last handstand was flawless. Oh, look, it's Little Miss Save the World. And it's Little Miss Plastic. Shouldn't you be out testing your makeup on animals? Shouldn't you be out hugging trees? Guys, come on. Manny, you were asking about this. It's coming out at noon. <laughs> the Spirit Squad's only spirit is the spirit of sexism. Look what your little friend wrote. Nice, Emma. So I'm a bimbo, too. I can't believe you wrote that article, Em. You've got to get Lee ready to cancel it. How long have we been friends? Since kindergarten. And now you think you can drop me like a hot potato just because, ooh, some eighth grader is finally talking to you? It's not like that, Em. I want to become a cheerleader, that's all. <laughs> Please. Is it so wrong if I become friends with Paige in the process? You honestly think Paige is your friend? Is that so hard to believe? That for once someone cool likes me? She's just using you, Manny. No, you're just jealous. Jealous of that pretentious wannabe? You know the difference between you and Paige? Paige is fun. You're so boring, sometimes I want to scream. Well, I sure hope you and Paige have fun together. Just don't come crying to me when she stabs a knife in your back. Don't worry, I won't! Please. I can afford it. It's yours. Really, take it. What are you doing? It was cheap. I'm upgrading my whole electronic system. You might want to stop doing that for a while. Why? You do have the other can, don't you? You lost the Ace of Spades? Shh. I didn't lose it. I just misplaced it. You misplaced our chance in a million bucks! My mom went on one of her cleaning binges. I just can't remember where I moved it to. Well, think, man, think! Shh! Ah, my two favorite people. Anything wrong? Okay, our last unit was online portfolios. Today I'm gonna introduce you to Photoshop so you can begin to learn how to scan and edit images digitally. It's amazing what these programs can do. You can uh, change hair color, eye color, whatever you want. Now, we're going to take it slow at first because I don't want you guys to get too caught up with uh, playing around with the uh, technology. Students, remember to pick up the new edition of the Degrassi Grapevine out now. And lunch today, Mongolian chicken stir fry. What are you guys doing? Uh, just uh, making some editorial changes. <laughs> Emma's article is just horrible. I mean, it's really gonna hurt us. Here, Manny, you do the next one. Normally, I wouldn't put stock in anything a grade seven route. No offense. But we need 12 people for the squad, and we only have eight. This article might convince people not to join. 
And then, no spirit squad. I mean, you do want a spirit squad. Of course. Then prove it. Can't be happening. Can't be happening. Can't be happening. JT, when's the last time I remember having it? What are you, my mother? If I knew that, I'd have it right now. I lost, so sue me. JT, you find that can or I will sue you. Spanner, shouldn't you be at work? He has his priorities. And his priority right now, to hurt JT. I told him everything. Guys, I I'll make it up to you. I'll be your slave. Sorry, I don't speak dork. JT, you're gonna find that can if I have to stuff you in your locker to- My locker! That's it! No, they're not in there. It's in a plastic bag. Mistake, hooking up with a bunch of loser grade sevens. Uh, guys, come on, ow! Ow! Help! Help! I think I like the shorter skirts better, Oscar. In the blue and gold. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think that looks way better. You guys know anything about this? Who would do something like that? You tell me. My opinion piece is ripped out of every copy of the grapevine. Well, I had nothing to do with it. No one's accusing you, Paige. Even if it was Emma's critique of the spirit squad that was attacked. I don't have to tell you that uh, vandalism can result in suspension. This is pretty serious. Mr. Simpson, I have... Me, Manny. If anyone should tell you this, Mr. Simpson, it should be me, as head of the spirit squad. But... We saw Hazel hanging around the foyer earlier, acting suspicious. More incidents like this in the school may question having extracurricular activities at all, okay. including the spirit squad. You got it? So, two more people signed up. We're really on our way. Why did you do that? Why did you backstab Hazel? Hello? I had to give up somebody, and you were about to spill your guts. I was simply looking out for you. Well, don't, okay? Not if it means dragging me into your dirty work. My dirty work? You were there, too. Yeah, I ripped one newspaper. One? More like all. Or at least that's what I'll tell Mr. Simpson if you don't shut up. Paige, you were the one who's like... Who's he gonna believe? You or me? Let's go find out. Manny, what is your damage? You, Paige! You better watch your mouth. Or what? You'll spread lies about me? Deface my locker? Just try it. Whoa. Whoa. Crazy. <sighs> FYI, your attitude sucks. Good luck taking the squad. <laughs>
I sit down? Sure. Manny, I wanted to apologize. I should have supported your cheerleading, not attacked you. Why? It's just a bunch of stupid, sexist, idiot girls prancing around. Manny, I was wrong. I'm admitting it. It's just, all I wanted to do was have fun, Em. Then Paige took an interest in me. It all became so complicated. I'm sorry. So what are you going to do? But the spirit squad, I mean. Give it up. Paige won't want me anymore. Not after what I said to her. Manny, you're good. Paige is mean, not dumb. She's not going to cut you from the squad. And besides, what you said, I thought it was amazing. You were there? And you know what? Couldn't have said it better myself.